The America East Playoffs presented by Jersey Mike's here on ESPN. And U.S. Lowell and UMBC treated the crowd to quite a game tonight. An overtime affair. The number two seeded Riverhawks come away with a 94-89 win over the seventh seeded Retrievers. Hi, everybody. Once again with Jim Bordoka, I'm Chris Villani. And Jim, this is your classic March basketball game. Throw the records out, throw the seeds out. UMBC came out strong, built a 10-point lead in the first half, and Lowell was never really able to pull away. Yeah, well, we talked about in the pregame how well UMBC was playing coming into today. You know, you add that on with their athleticism and the way that they played. I mean, they really came up from the get-go attacking UMass Lowell, really challenged them. One-point game at halftime, obviously tied at the end of regulation, and the Rear Rocks come away with the overtime victory. Vermont, the top team in the conference, got a scare in its own right, coming away with a 75-72 win over Albany. Great rivalry over the years between those two programs. They move on. UNH advances over Binghamton and Bryant with a lopsided win over Maine. So you get the chalk. It looks kind of ho-hum. If you watch the games, it was anything but. Sure. But Vermont will host UNH. And then Tuesday night, it's going to be UMass Lowell and Bryant right here in this building and that is certainly a budding rivalry. Bryant is a dangerous team again very similar to, UN, uh, to, to UMBC athletic long and physical. Definitely was a physical game the last time these two teams played as for the game we just saw here at Costello some standout performances including Marcus Banks Jr. and he was really the guy who established the presence for UMBC right from the get-go at a big defensive play and then a three out of the gate Finished the game with 24 points. Yeah, he was excellent all afternoon. Again, his his ability to make shots from the perimeter frees everything up for Brown to penetrate, Lorca Lloyd to do his work in the paint. Great 24, day for Banks. 24 points for Banks. On the other side, Quentin Mincy, 27 points, 16 rebounds, both of those career highs. I mean, we've said it all year. He's really been the most consistent player Pat Duquette has had. And today, the way that he came in to kind of quell the run that UMBC was on and he just continued through the end of the game was just tremendous to watch. The kid has had a heck of a year. 27 points, as I mentioned, for Mincy. You look at some of the final numbers there. 56 rebounds for UMass Lowell. They survived a 20 turnover performance, put up 42 points in the paint, and they come away with a 94-89 overtime victory over UMBC. So Lowell advances to the semifinal on Tuesday night. UMBC season comes to an end. For Jim Bordoka, I'm Chris Villani saying so long from Costello Athletic Center. This has been the America East Playoffs on ESPN.